Hey guys, how you doing? It's Harry here again. So today I've got something that I've, I'm going to find quite interesting. It sounded really weird, interesting, cool. We got a um, conversion kit to turn an angle grinder into a chainsaw. And I saw this on eBay. Well, no, I saw this on Wish first, actually. It popped up on Facebook and I thought, that's a weird idea. So I had a look on eBay and I found a kit for 10 quid, including free delivery. So I thought, for 10 quid, I'm going to give it a go, really. I'm really interested to see how this works. I'm a bit worried about how unsafe it's going to be because I just think it's going to be not as safe as an actual chainsaw, considering an angle grinder's just got an on off button. Let's have a look. So that's basically what we got. An electric chainsaw stand adapter. Well, hopefully it's got instructions. It's been taped up, so I don't know if it's second hand or not. It looks it, but we'll see. Hopefully it's all there. And I really hope it's got some instructions. But it doesn't look too bad there, really. I'm quite interested to see what we got. Tape looks quite yellow and old, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, looks like we got instructions at least. Installations. Automatic fuel injection. Right, so we got the ins we've got the steps here. Show those on there. If anyone's got one, they want to know how to do it. You pause the video and have a look if you want to. A warning on the back there. Let's see what we got. Bag of brackets. Good. We'll just see how good it is, won't we? That looks kind of like the mechanism. Well, it does take fuel as well. Well, it takes an oil to oil the chain. Didn't realise that. That's what I'm looking at. That's obviously what's going to go on the angle grinder itself. Guard. Handle. Bit cheapy, but okay. And then we've got this here. Oh, it's got some weight to it. Let's get this out. Has it been used? Hard to tell if it's been used or not. Yeah, it looks quite an interesting thing. I'm looking forward to giving this a go. So we've got our bits there. I'll go through it. I'll go through the whole installation with you. So this might take a while. Let's have a look. All right, installation steps. One, install sprocket wheel and soft rubber ring to angle grinder. Right, so a sprocket wheel, soft rubber ring. That looks like a soft rubber ring. And there. Do do? Right, I assume that's a soft rubber ring. Oh, I've got two of these. Why have I got two of these? <laughs> This is going to take me a while, guys, so please bear with me. I'm going to be using my um, 18 volt cordless angle grinder for this. Laid out. Do -do -do. Yeah, so far this looks a lot better than what I was expecting. Just 
Put that and that off. Right. Don't know if I should take that off or not. I presume so. I'll take it off for now. Uh, I'll take the guard off as well, by the looks of it. Guard off in a while. Screwdriver. It's taken a bit longer than I expected, sorry guys. I have to fast forward some bits of this, you see. There we go. God, there's a bit of a nightmare to take off. Right, so here we have it. Right, put sprocket wheel on. I have no idea which one's the sprocket wheel. Is this the sprocket wheel? Right, I'm going to say that's the sprocket wheel. rubber one on which that goes on there like that it's a little loose which is slightly worrying yeah it's got to be this one because that's the only one that fits and then I presume it's just that that goes back on top which is what we took off to get the blade off. I'm presuming. Right, then we've got adjust the automatic clamping device into place. That's the other thing over there. I'm just gonna tighten this up. I want it to be fairly tight because I don't want anything flying off at me. Have I even uh, there's a spanner. Right. Just automatic clamp. Ah, oh, that's a lot easier. I thought I'd fiddle around with it. So this goes on this. What way? Is this the automatic clamp? Right. Let's just give it a go, shall we? Adjust the automatic clamping in place. Yeah, this is why also I think it's going to be dangerous because you've got someone like me trying to put it together who's too impatient. Right, 
So we got our angle grinder like this. Right, I think we'll leave the adjustment. We're just gonna to skip to this one for the minute. Pre-install, 825 screw, tighten both sides. Right. So, going off the pictures are like that. And where does this clamp to? The rubber? Yes, I presume. Uh, what way? Instructions like this, right? It's got like a nib there, if you can see that. I assume that faces downward in there. trial and error this I believe. So you have to bear with me. It's very interesting as well considering if this works well it's going to save a lot of money. Which side of screw do I just use? Are these all the same? These are all the same. All the same, that looks good. Do, do, do. Where's that Alan Key gone? There it is. Determine whether the oil outlet has been punctured as well. Let's look at that in a sec. Go out and buy some chainsaw oil as well by the looks of it. Sorry, it's taking so long again, but I I may as well do it right first time. So this is obviously why the rubber was on there, the rubber seal. That looks fairly straight. I'm just going to tighten it up again in my hands, a bit quicker. Do -do. Really say how much to tighten this, so I'm just going to tighten it to the max. Looks like the oil thing has been punctured as well. Right, boom! So we've got it looking just like it has in the picture. The oil outlet is this little thing here, I presume, and it does look like it's been punctured, so we can skip that. Right, install the guide plate chain. Clip the rear end of the guide plate into the buckle and then bounce the buckle back into place. Right. So we've got this here. Buckle. Right, I get what it means. So basically, I think it means push that until it pops in. It pops in already, that's fine then. Or have we got bolt holes to go through? We've got bolt holes that way. 
Oh, right, anyway, yeah, so we got it like that. I think you can click it any other way. Uh, should we go that way? Yeah, we'll go that way a bit. So the right is the right way up. Right. Put the chain on as well. All right. Just leave that like that for a sec. Let's have a look at the chain. The saw chain is completely packed still in the original packing, which is nice. Got a little knife slot into here. what we've got for a chain there nice right oh what way what way we put the chain on Well, there's even a little QR code there for an installation video, which I might have a look at in my spare time. Oh. Have a look at that. Could have my glasses on as well, really. Right. Look at the box. Yeah, for first time using a chainsaw, I don't think I should really be doing this video. But then again, some of you might be doing this for your first time. So it's a learning curve for everyone. Right, and we fit it like so. Fit it that way onto the blade. So the little bits there and the big bits that way when we put it on the chain. Imagine majority of people already know this. First for me, oh, we fitted on there quite nicely. Oh, and it slots inside of this as well. Oh God, this is going to be awkward. All right. Ah, oh, no. All right. Oh God, this where it's going to get tricky. Right, I think it'd be easier if I took that off and slid it on that way and then just tighten that up after. So I'm gonna do it like that because I think that's gonna be easier. Put all these back in. nice very nice stay in please it's very fiddly as well I'm getting stressed out a little bit all right so we've got it like this put that on there so it's gonna be like that right so it's been clipping the way back Aha! Uh -huh. Oh yeah, the bit on the other side really helps you push it back. I didn't realise that. So yeah, that really helps it push back. Right. I feel like you could do with another pair of hands maybe for this, but we'll try and power on with ourselves. Again, sorry this is taking so long. Right. 
try and do it off camera quickly. It's just slightly easier for me. Come on. Oh, almost there. God, this is tricky. Yeah, this is really two-handed. Almost there with it though. Ah, oh, there we go. Right. Okay, so basically, that's it on there. It was easier taking that off, in my opinion. I just had to wedge that in, wedge that into me, pull that back, and then try and clip it on. It would be easier with two hands, I think. I'm gonna put this back on. Now, yes, that feels fairly tight. That's nice. It's working. Right. Now back to the instructions. I feel rarely that should screw in as well. Let's have a look. Right, place the plastic cover plate on. Ah, so we do bolt it through, that's fine. Are we the right way up? I assume this is the right way up. Let's have a look. There we go. So that'll go on like that. And yeah. So I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of like almost slots in there at the bottom. See? It's up there. Right. So we've got that there. Then we put our little plate on. It goes on like so. And then we put two more of these little bolts through. Hold it all together if we can. Like so. Still don't find this particularly safe, but we'll see when we use it. I've put a lot of PP on, a lot of protection for my face and what have you. So I assume that's just for a smaller angle grinder, maybe. This extra bit, which is good to know. I do worry normally when I've got a piece left over of something. I think what on earth am I missing? And I've lost the Allen key again. Found the Allen key again. Right. This works. For Ten quid. I think this is probably a bargain. So it should be a bit easier taking it apart now because I think we can keep some of it made up together. Like just take this off, take the ring off the top off and then take these screws out here. And then it should just pop off as a unit. It should be a lot easier. Right, and then I think all that's left to do is put this on like so. Oh, we have to bend it. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that. Ooh. Yeah, you have to bend it. 
Is that the right way even? I don't think it matters, but let's take a check. Yeah, I put it on the wrong way. In the picture it shows it like that. Does it? Yeah, it does. So yeah, it's bent like inward. Clear it out. Right. Hopefully it will stay together long enough for me to put a screw in. Yeah, some of the casting on this looks quite cheap, but I'm not surprised considering it only cost a tenner. It does look pretty solid. camera a bit better keep forgetting I need to get stuff on camera it's another problem I have with stuff like this god it's now taken half an hour to make this come on baby there we go boom done it done it we've made a chainsaw out of an angle grinder, girl. This is ingenious. Right. It is a bit weird to hold, considering I've got one arm back here and one here. But yeah, it looks pretty, looks pretty cool. I haven't got any oil, which might be annoying. I'll go have a look online, see if I can use anything else temporary, but I'll just I'll give it a quick run as it is now. Hopefully, Nobody dies. Right, get a battery. Also worth saying, always take your battery out or leave it unplugged if you're messing around with a tool like this. Right, battery in. We're all in. Right, here goes nothing. Cool, that works. It works, definitely needs oil though. Right, I'm gonna get some oil and set a log up and I'll see you in a minute. Bye for now. Right guys, we're back. I've got a little log here set up. We're gonna give this chainsaw a go. I've just put some standard oil on it for the minute because I couldn't be asked to go out and buy chainsaw oil. Should be okay. I'm a little nervous about doing this. So I'm gonna have a full face mask on when doing it just in case, I've got steel toe cap boots as well. I'm gonna try and stand back as much as I can with it. I have to put my foot on it though to hold it though. So we'll just see how it goes. A little interested to see what we do with this as well. Well, that works surprisingly well, I think. I didn't think that was going to go that well and be that easy to manage. So yeah, God, that was, that was really good, I think. Let's do another little bit. On the last one.
Oh. Well guys, I'm pleasantly surprised by that. I really am. I mean, this this whole unit was 10 quid with free delivery off eBay. I had the angle grinder already. And to be honest, I'm not gonna be using a chainsaw that often. So really, this has saved me buying a chainsaw, I think, really. For just the little jobs here and there, I think this is just ideal. It's only small. It's a little awkward to hold, but if I'm only cutting a few bits off a tree or a couple of logs, I think this is a game changer, really. Admittedly, I'll probably want to buy some proper oil and what have you, but yeah, I'm really happy with this. So, yeah, the angle grinder to chainsaw converter is pretty damn good I think anyway what do you guys think I think that's a really handy bit of kit I'm really surprised with it the oil just spewed out of it though that was something a bit bad so I need a thicker oil obviously but yeah for what it is I'd say this is just ideal anyway thanks for watching guys if you like this video please leave a like if you want to check out the rest of the channel, please feel free to. I've got the video on the actual grinder if you want to check that out. And the full face trend mask in the background you can see. We've done videos on those. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. I'm always buying other bits and pieces. Have any other interesting tools. But yeah, overall, I think this is really, really a good buy. What it is. It's quite easy to use. And yeah, I'd recommend it to be honest. I don't know if you can get a replacement chain quite cheap, but then 10 quid to just replace the whole unit, you may as well do that. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.